Um, we lived in the country and we travelled to Perth to pick up a family guest from the airport and that meant that we had two cars. So um, my sister who resided in Perth at the time decided that she would drive in the front car and my parents would follow in another vehicle when we were driving home. We had about 45 minutes to go of the journey and it was in the wee hours of the morning so it would have been probably about 2.30 in the morning and my sister was fatigued and she fell asleep at the wheel. So my wife with two kids in the back was um, cruising down a few little S bends and then I, in essence um, she had a micro sleep and next thing she realised um, they were doing a whole heap of barrel rolls down the side of the road and uh, um, the car had rolled three and a half times. My dad was hit by a uh, fatigued driver and uh, died instantly at the accident. She fell asleep going around the corner and yeah, just took him away. I now understand the impact that it had on my parents who were following us in another vehicle. So essentially as they came over, over a hill, there were their, three of their four daughters that had been in a serious car accident. They, they didn't know whether or not we were dead or alive. I met the girl that hit my dad and um, you know, like I felt hate towards her for taking away my dad. Um, but when I met her, I actually felt really sorry for her because she has to, she has to live with that every day. And uh, she, yeah. I don't think that's a situation that anyone wants to be in. My sister who was driving sustained some pretty serious head injuries and she was in a coma for around 16 days, which was quite traumatic and I sustained multiple lacerations and broke my legs and um, some quite nasty injuries and my sister in the back seat also sustained some injuries from the waist down. I got one of them horrible phone calls at work and then jumped into my work car and then proceeded to go to where the accident was. I mean you hear people talk about fatigue and it's not really a big deal but it actually is. It can, it can ruin your life, it can ruin your family's lives. Years later we had the discussion around how everyone pretty much felt like it was their fault for different reasons and so the last thing I remember my mum saying to me was make sure you keep your sister awake so I had you know some guilt about falling asleep myself and um, even though I was younger and obviously my sister had the guilt of having the accident she was only 19 at the time and my the friend that came over from overseas had the guilt of us being in Perth purely and simply to meet with him and um, mum and dad obviously had the guilt associated with that being their children. So it was, it was quite a traumatic experience and there was a lot, of, a lot of months of healing. The woman did like a 10 hour round trip, so she had a half an hour break. Um, it pays to take breaks in the middle of long trips, uh, make sure that someone knows how far you're going, like what time you're going to arrive at a destination. Today when I have conversations, particularly in the mining industry and people that drive long distances, for me it's really about fatigue and um, managing that fatigue and it obviously holds a special place in my heart given what's happened to me. I just had an encounter with one of the guys thinking it was, um, it was not a big deal to drive fatigued and um, They just think that it's only affecting themselves or yes, I'm, I might swerve off the road a little and come back up and be fine, but it's not the case in some instances. And I guess to understand the impact of something happening within your family, how, what the ripple effect is of that impact, and to understand that the decisions that you make every day can affect your immediate family, your wider family and, and those around you. I mean, it's, it's not just hurting the person that drives fatigue, it can also hurt other people. I think that no matter what you put in place, you're the only person that can take responsibility for saying, I'm just too tired to drive. And I think because we're in a place where people are exposed to that issue so often, there's a responsibility on an individual to, say, to be able to say, no, I'm not going to drive because I don't feel well enough to, or I don't feel like I'd, I'm, I'm fit to take the journey. Fatigue drivers can affect um, other people, it can affect families of other people, it can affect your family and it, and it can affect you. It's not, it's not just about you.